Another week of high school football is here. David, let's start with Enterprise that you follow. This, I think, will be a very interesting game. Enterprise almost pulled one off at Opelika last Friday night, losing in overtime. You follow, got a win over Beauregard in a very close game. I think this is a great matchup. Yeah, it's kind of hard to figure out. You follow is 3-1, but their schedule is mediocre. Uh, they've survived some games late. Enterprise has played a brutal schedule with Central and Auburn and Opelika in that group. Uh, I think the, the last four games, including this one, 16 and two record. So, uh, it's kind of even though the records are different, you know, it's almost a toss-up type situation. Here in Dothan, Northview hosts Wetumpka. We know Northview is a team that is improving. It's getting better. It fights hard. It sticks around in games. Had a tough game, of course, against Auburn last Friday night. Auburn's mighty good. Wetumpka, what do we know about them? I know they lost by just I think a couple of touchdowns to Prattville last That's week. That's right. They're two and two. Uh, as you mentioned, they played Prattville pretty tough for half. It was 14-14 at halftime, and then Prattville pulled away second half. They've got an extremely good quarterback, Jamal Golden, very athletic team. Uh, it's another tough matchup for Northview. It sounds maybe like they're pretty similar teams, of course, with yeah. B.J. Chitty with Northview, mm -hmm. very athletic. Uh, this could be an interesting game. It will, be. it will be. Another one that could be a high-scoring game, Houston County at Abbeville. And these are two teams that can put some points on the board. And Abbeville at home, I think, is going to be tough to beat. But Houston County, you never know what you're going to get from them. They can really score. Yeah, and last week they surprised me. I didn't expect 62 points against what normally is a pretty good defensive team in Barbara County. But with Desmond Warren and those receivers out there, they're capable of scoring any time on the field. Abbeville's offense is just as good, even though they haven't put up a whole lot of points, comparatively speaking, but they, they can get it done, too. Houston Academy goes to Slocum. I think this will be the toughest test so far for the Raiders. And these are two teams that have been rivals over the year. Yeah. Slocum's got a very good running back in Scotty Burdishaw. I, I think this is going to be a good one. Uh, last year, the one thing that took pop in my mind last year, Juicy Williams and Burdishaw both had a big night against H.A. and beat the heck out of them, 42-17. I know that is still in the back of H.A.'s minds. Uh, it has been for a while. I mean, they're not used to that kind of performance against their defense. It's a proud defense, so I expect to see a, a very hard-hitting Houston Academy team. And this is a game, uh, revenge might not be it, but it, it, it's not a region game, but it's still a very big one whenever these two, because yeah, they've had some good. great games over they the They have developed a pretty good rivalry over the last seven, eight years, particularly earlier in the decade when both of them were having a lot of success and they were in the region together and it was going to be whoever won this one was going to go to the state semifinals or they're about somewhere in that range and it, it, a lot of the kids know each other on both of these teams. All right, I always check back at this website. We'll have uh, footage of the games, we'll have cheerleaders shown, we'll have photo galleries, band shots as well. So check back on Friday Night Football right here.